Hey guys, welcome back to Learn AI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the prompt library in Google AI Studio. So once you're inside a Google AI Studio, you want to look towards the left-hand side menu options and you'll find prompt gallery. Click on that. You have a wide range of different categories or prompts that you can basically use, right? So these are basically prompt ideas that you can quickly use. There are a bunch of them, guys, and you can basically go through and choose what Ever you want right so let's say I want to go ahead and search for weather let's say that's a prompt and I can say like this option and I can say basically weather search you will see quickly that it pops up this specific search here and I can basically edit this at any point in time so if you select a particular prompt they are like predefined prompt that you can go ahead and you can modify so all you have to do now is just simply click the pencil icon here to edit that prompt and it's basically text right so let's say I don't want to say Zurich but I want to say Prague so I can go ahead and I can type in Prague right and I can simply go ahead and write for example Czech Republic even though I know that it will recognize that so I can simply write in that now once you do that just go ahead and press the check mark the checkbox at the top and you will see it says stop editing so you can simply click on that to let's say finish your editing and then you can simply click and run and it's gonna basically search for you and as you can see it basically finding me the weather and it gives me even link so you can easily go ahead and open up these website to quickly access the weather and so forth and that's it guys very easy and very simple now once you go ahead and you modify these prompts you have them under your basically your library or your history that's where all of those prompts are stored and if you have those prompts connect and if you have your google ai studio connect to your gg to your google drive they will automatically be stored in your google drive as well right so that's it there are so many different prompts that you can use so if i go back to prompt library and let's say i want to say um you know let's say a trip idea i can simply click on trip idea and you can see this is a much larger prompt and again to modify it just simply click on it and basically change whatever you want say let's say i want to take out this paragraph or whatever right box space simple box space and it's gone and i can basically modify whatever i want and that's it so that's it guys that's how to easily go ahead and use the prompt gallery to use whatever prompt or predefined prompt that you have there within the Google AI Studio.